So I was sent this the other day. It took a while to come away from China. It's called the Tactical Light Kit. Now, apparently, there's quite a few makes of the Tactical Light Kit. I love the name. But this is from V-Fly. And what I love about it so far is I just love that light. It's got the two main beams on the top there. Uh, and then you get your under lights, which will fit underneath the drone. I'll show you that in a mo. So you get a little box, as you can see here. Let's put it there so you can see it. So that's the box you get with all the stuff in it. The main thing is the instructions. So please check out the instructions as well, read the instructions. They give you a spare sticky pad, which I'll show you in a mo. An Allen key, now that Allen key is to tighten up the light there because obviously you can have it going down or up, but obviously after a while, it, it, I would imagine it start to come loose. So that Allen key is pretty important, so remember that. And you get two under lights. So what happens is you get the whole unit there. And if I just put, take it off a minute, so you, you would stick this on. And like I said, this is the spare one, just in case it all went wrong. You stick it on there, because one of the things I didn't like about this was, I thought that you had that whole lot stuck on there. So when I go out flying in the daytime, was that gonna be a problem? But thankfully not. I mean, that will stay on there permanently. And that's, I've had that on there for about a week, so but I haven't gone out to fly it yet, but I will do later on in the video. I'll just stick that on there now. So it's on there pretty good. I'll just pull my finger back without, that's it. So that's on now. Just give you a, a close up of that. The other thing is at the back there, if you plug your, your cable in, you can charge it that way. I think it takes over just about an hour to charge up. It's pretty bright. I'll show you in a mo. Uh, these ones that go underneath, what they are, they you got two, you got a button to turn it on, which I'll show you in a mo. And what it is, it's either on permanent, it's like a landing light, or you can have it as a strobe. Now, if I was flying at night, I would activate the strobes. And you've got one on each side. So, so I'll show you how to fit it on underneath. Now, it will sort of say left and right. It's, it's not rocket science yet again. <laughs> it's quite easy to do. It only instructions, it will tell you which is left and right, but it didn't take much to work that out. And you just clip it on there and it's already fitted in there. How long does that take? Seconds. But you can remove these obviously during the daytime. And also, another good thing about this, because I was thinking, how do you charge these up? Pretty easy because they, they come off. All right. Okay. So they, just by pulling it, it comes off out. And then if you want to charge these up, you just plug it in there. Pretty easy to do. And the light will go off once it's fully charged. I think it, what it is, when you stick it in there, there'd be like a red light. And once it's fully charged, that light will go off. So you know, then you know it's fully charged. And I'll just show you on one of these, there's a little button there. And I'll just press it. So that's, that's the, what I class as the landing light. And if I press it again, God, it's, there you are. That's what I would use if I was flying this at night, the strobe light. And you're gonna have two of those. So even that is pretty bright. But I'm gonna turn that off for the moment because I just wanna show you, God, blinding myself. <laughs> and you just keep it a long press and it's off. So I'm gonna put this back on. Oh, that's back in place. Now on the top there, there's a little button. And what you do, you just press that button for a couple of seconds and then the light will come on. And what you can do, I'm gonna show you. Right, so on the top of there, you can't see it yet. I'm just gonna... So that, that's pretty bright. Now, I mean, just knocks out the camera there. And then if I press it again, it just makes it slightly dimmer. Don't really see the point of that, really. Press it again, that's, that's full brightness. Now I'm not sure how long this would last. Now on the top there, I don't know if you can see it, there is a green light. So you've got your green light, you've got your strobe lights. Now I would say guys, this is mainly to do with flying indoors. Flying outdoors, 
Well, I will be showing you outdoors, but I would say mainly this is flying indoors, especially if you've got, I don't know, if you're into all that racing stuff in car parks and um, big warehouse buildings. But anyway, should we go outside and test it in the dark? <laughs> oh yeah, I'll just turn it off for you. So I'm at my location, it's 8.53, which is sunset here in Spain. The sun's just gone down behind the mountain, but obviously this camera makes everything bright, but I will be giving it another, probably another 15 minutes, and then we'll try out. I press the button, the lights will go on. I might put these on as well. I think it might be a little bit too bright, but I think this is the main thing. But as you can see, it's a bit windy. <laughs> Not ideal conditions, I must say, but unfortunately we got this for the next three or four days. So I've just thought, come out tonight. It's not too bad. So enjoy the vid, the floodlight. <laughs> So, did you honestly think I was going to finish it? Anyway, that was interesting. I don't know if that was bugs. I don't know if that was um, seeds. It looked like it was raining, didn't it? But the other thing is, you can see it's, it's getting dark now. 
and that's still nice and bright on my face there. Um, I think they say you get 15 minutes. I don't know. I'm not going to be here for 15 minutes, that's for sure. Anyway, as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. But there will be another video coming, Ray. Soon!